Okay, these guys are three weeks old today. Whew. The box is getting too small. So next week they will be outside and in a carrier walking around. And we've got puppy number two first. He is the only one that's definitely available. I was gonna keep, I was just trying to decide which one of the boys I wanted to keep and I definitely don't wanna keep him. And that's because, you see that cute little mouth of his, how the front is a little bit overshot? That's equivalent to a human being having buck teeth. And it happens, I would say one out of every 30 of my puppies. And it's not a health concern. It's a cosmetic thing and you just don't want to keep a, a dog like that for breeding that has you know an overshot if it's a little bit it's no big deal but I don't know it might be kind of big and I just would rather pick his brother so we're not gonna pick you so you're gonna be available you are a puppy number two okay so I put him on the scale oops it didn't want to go on Let's try that again. Okay. All right. He weighs 12.73. At three weeks, that would be, let's say it's 13. That would be four and a half. And then we got you. You. His name is Dean. He's not available. Look how gorgeous he is. He's the one I would have chose uh, out of the three boys, because I, I definitely want a boy out of this litter. He's the smallest, but the only thing, and he's the prettiest, <laughs> but the only thing is he is a long coat. And I already have two long coat boys out of this line, and that's the last thing I need is another long coat boy. I need, I need a short coat one. So you have got to go. Oh gosh, Mwah. he's just gorgeous. All right, we're gonna put him on, little Dean. There's a chance that she might not pick Dean and she might choose one of Snowy's puppies, but most likely I believe she's might, she might pick him. We'll know it's six weeks old. Whoops, he doesn't like the scale. And he is 8.82. 8.82 at three weeks. Is, there's eight, we'll follow eight down. A little bit over three. Okay, and then you. This is the boy that I wanna keep. I'm almost positive. Unless his testicles don't drop, then I'll have to sell him. And I'll know that at eight weeks old. Yeah, we will know all about you. But he's, isn't he beautiful? <laughs> yes, he is. And I wanna know how much you weigh. He is 11.22 at three weeks. That would be a little bit over four pounds. Yeah, okay. And where's the girls? two girls in this mess. You are definitely gonna stay, I think. Yes. Yeah, you're just, you're everything I would ever want. Everything. Yes, you are. Yes, okay. We're gonna put you on. And you weigh 16.4. 16.4 at three weeks is... About 5.7 or so. Perfect for me. All right, where's the other girl? Okay, is that you? Oh, that would be you. Hi. A little yawn? Oh, okay. We're gonna put, and she most likely is going to be available. Just trying to see about her size. If she's under a certain weight, no, actually, she has to be over. Let's just let's see what she is, and we'll have to tell you about her availability. She is 9.9. 9.9 9 at three weeks. That's right around there. That's about 3.7 or so. Yeah, I highly doubt if she's gonna going to be sold because she's probably going to be too little for what the other lady is looking for. But I gotta hold on to her just to see what happens. So at six weeks old, I'll know. So we got the three weeks, I got another three weeks. It's complicated what I do here, the juggling act, because people are very picky about their chihuahuas. And I like to make people happy. So get on my list, 
if you are interested in one of these babies and you will have you know better chances of getting what you want and it, it, there is a deposit of a thousand dollars which is non-refundable which goes towards the purchase price to be on the list and then oh and my nails i gave oh, i gave birth i helped give birth last night to snowy's babies and every time i do that my nails just oh they, they get stained i know i repeated i'm repeating myself but it's a separate video I said it in the last video, but it's just kind of embarrassing. I'll, I'll clean them, I'll put bleach on them, and they still are stained. It's that placenta stuff. It just stays on there for a few days. But that's okay. We had six babies born last night, and they all came out perfect. Nobody died because I was right in there, like I always am, very hands-on. Okay, I will talk to you guys next week.